Well, it was 20 years ago today. Well, actually, it was 40 years ago today. Apollo 11 lifted off from Earth and into the sky. Mission Commander Neil Aldrin Armstrong and Lunar Module Pilot Edwin Eugene Buzz Aldrin Jr. were aboard, and five days later have become the first humans to walk on the moon. Command Module Pilot Michael Collins was aboard too, but no one seems to care much about him, though he was the one who kept the ship in orbit. Mr. Collins was a nice man. Born October 31st, 1930, he is married to Patricia and has three children, including Kate, known as Janet Marlowe Green Dillon from the daytime television drama All My Children. Flouse's Jeffro Tull created a song for Michael Collins, Jeffrey and Me, comparing the feelings of misfitting from vocalist Ian Anderson and Jeffrey Hammond with the astronaut's own. Left behind by the ones he loved while they partake in the privilege to walk on the surface of the moon without him. For the six-time race winning horse, the Apollo 11. In sports. With justification in the arts, Christopher Wade Sharon is distributing these disturbing posters to weak, innocent American cities in an attempt to incite certain death all the while paying an enormous $10 fee per hundred posters, an obvious waste of natural resources. Okay, Clevelands, I wanna see Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland, Tennessee, and Cleveland, North Carolina. Front and center, chop chop. This version of DJ Steve Porter's remix of the Slap Chop infomercial of Vince Shlomi, aka Vince Offer, aka the Sham Wow Guy, will presumably air on US television as a standalone infomercial for Slap Chop. I really don't want to stop the show, but I thought you might like to know. Artist Nikola Uzanovsky has been studying bringing sunlight to the Arctic Circle in its wintertime by using massive mirrors reflecting the sun to smaller mirrors throughout a town. And now Uzanovsky is dangling mirrors from flying structures. Space shuttle scheduled to deorbit! Rocket Boom has just been alerted that the International Space Station is scheduled to deorbit in 2016, and we are not pleased. If deorbit meant journey onward into outer space, we would be happy about that. But that's not what we mean. We mean... <coughs> According to the Washington Post, that's a polite way of saying that NASA will make the space station fall back into the atmosphere, where it will turn into a fireball and then crash into the Pacific Ocean. We gotta save the space station! <laughs> <laughs>